Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm going to do opinion seal on my 2014 Wrangler JKU that has a Dana 44 rear end. The first step I like to do is bust all the bolts free with a ratchet and spin them out with an electric ratchet. And then there's two holes at the back of the flange that you use a punch on and you tap it out with a hammer, spin it over 180 degrees, tap it out again, and then you're able to get the drive shaft out of the way. Now I'm ready to pull the pinion nut off. It's an inch. 5 sixteenths is the size. Now this is where you're going to need a two-jaw puller to pull that flange off. It's the best way once the nut is off. Kind of put it on the sides. And then you're going to use an impact, which is the quickest way to spin it off. Now with the flange off, you can see where the lip is. I'm going to take a chisel and with a hammer, I'm going to start chiseling away. It's going to start to lift the seal. And once it starts to lift, then you can yank it out. Now this is the new seal. I put some grease on the back side. I also got a new nut and a washer. You don't need a new nut and a washer, but I also got some red Loctite and some black RTV. And this is going to be for the reassembly. That's very important to have the black RTV. So what I'm doing right now is I go underneath and just kind of putting the seal into place. I'm using a brass hammer and just lightly tapping the sides to get it set. And then I'm going to tap a little bit harder and keep working around the seal. Now, of course, you can put a bigger object around there, too, and also tap it down. So this is where I talked about before. You need the black RTV to put on the splines. This will prevent oil from seeping out and coming out the pinion nut. Remember to use red Loctite on the nut when you go to put it back in the assemble. Now I want to make this clear. I have a crushed leave eliminator already inside. So basically I just tighten up the nut. Now to do the job properly, you would have to replace the crushed leave and then do the whole preload all over again. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was super sweet and short. I like to keep it that way because people just like to see the meat and potatoes and not all the other BS that happens along the way. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll see you guys in the next video.